What's good, fellow duelists? Why's your life back again? Giving you guys an update on Elemental Hero Neo's Neo Space and Deck Profile of Mines with um some of the new support. Um, I'm kind of iffy on some of the um cards that were um that came out for it because it's like it wasn't really Neo Space support to help with the Neo Space, but we did get kind of a another card to help with the miracle contact card but honestly it's kind of really hit and miss with some of the support that we did get in in this deck um so i'm gonna just go ahead and get into the deck profile and explain why i use certain card choices in here and honestly this is i say this is probably the more of a fast paced build with the Neo Space than I ever played, so um, not too many um, brick cards you can actually use your whole hand, but it's just fusion basically. Um, go ahead and get into the um, so starting off with the Neos um, engine right now, we're running three Neos because basically you need to have. One Neos in the graveyard, one in hand, and one in the deck, basically, now, um, with some of the support. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but when you're playing, you just want to make sure you can have one in grave if you need it for the instant fusion. For the instant fusion, but then you need one in the deck, and then you just always need to grab one to hand to fusion with contact in hand. Um, with new from power of the elements I was able to pick up two didn't pull none you can check out my openings that I'm doing with this upload also that still have a pull none off out of three boxes but I traded these I mean give it to me Two honest Neos basically because you have the fusion monster or you have Neos on the field or even this guy. He just easily help you push for game with your fusion. So at least one fusion can help you basically grind game. Then you finish it off with swinging on with the Neos. Um, and ending off this package is with the Rainbow Dragons. To make Rainbow Neos. Um, just so you have a, another way to dump Neos to the graveyard and play Elemental Hero Prisma, just turn it into a Neos and you'll be able to summon, an, if you can, summon a Neos space and after having this on the field. Um, this card kind of makes me iffy on playing this but you also need a, just a different way to move neos so it's like you, this card you just play neos from your hand or something from the deck but the neo spaces you want to be able to dump them to the graveyard before you actually summon these so that for neo space package I end up collecting the glow moss because um, for the level 7 glow moss fusion glow neos um, you do not need glow moss in the deck off the instant fusion you just need neos in the graveyard to activate the effect so cut the um, glow moss but play 1, 2 Grandmo, 2 dark panthers, 2 aqua dolphins and two hummingbirds. The reason why I play these is because when you, you play the Neo Spatian that takes the two fusions, you just want to use. I feel like those the best tier, good ones for um, Neo Spatians, but um, their effects are literally tier effects. And literally play this against Mr. Mind Player. 
that's the way that you get around Mr. Mines with Neo Station. So, like, gain life points. You know, Aqua Dolphin really get the hand traps out of your opponent's hands. On to the spells. Um, but before we get on to the spells, I um, want to talk about um, Cross Porter. Honestly, that was a great retrain um, of Cross Porter. Cross Porter is still literally, I feel like, is still a, it was made ahead of his time, like with combos coming out, and it's just still good. Like, I was talking to my homeboy, and we were saying that, like, um, If you had Neo Spaces in your hand, like a lot of Neo Spaces in your hand with, and Cross Porter, you basically can um, Cross Porter with Scapegoat and just tribute your Scapegoat tokens to summon because you're tributing tokens for cost, but it's not a tribute summon, you just summon a whole bunch of Scapegoat, I mean summon a whole bunch of Neo Spaces. But then we came out with Cross Keeper that literally allows you to summon them from hand. So this, honestly, it's like cross porter mixed in with this and then have a good draw effect for when you fusion summon but I haven't able to incorporate this in yet I might really want to side them because I don't know how many I would want to play depending on like me cutting more spells out the deck to natural contact fusion that just was just a suggest that's just suggestions um this one honestly that's the same as I say with common soul is kind of funny iffy but right now I just wanted to play Neo Space in here instead of playing this but honestly I feel like this is also good to play because it allows you to um basically allows you to do whatever you you need to do but this one is just iffy because you don't really want to always summon it a elemental hero back from the graveyard and you don't always have an elemental hero in the graveyard so that's a lot of things that I learned to play with Neo Spatian that if you're really contact fusing you don't really have your graveyard filled with anything but spells so yeah that's my little input on the new stuff but um New spaces, um, two e call, um, three e calls. Um, honestly, I can actually see that e call could drop to two. Hopefully on the ban list, because we would like to have Rota at two again, at least for all this warrior decks out here that's kind of like playing with one Rota. Three convert contact. That's why I have a high level of um, Neo Spatial Monster. I just feel like summoning a Cross Porter in this will make me using Cross Porter in this will make me do um, this in Main Phase Two, and I'd rather get this off in Main Phase One. And to help dump Neo Spatials to the graveyard, we have the um, N Engage Neo Space. Honestly, this card I like works as a Foolish Barrel and it allows you to summon a Neo. And this is the reason why I do decide to play Polymerization with this. But I will never search Poly off the Spirit of Neos. Just search Poly off of this. Um, for the main um, fusion cards for the deck, we play 3 Miracle Contact. Honestly, you have to summon an elemental hero fusion, so you cannot use this off for rainbow neos. So if you were more on the rainbow neos build, like playing more than one rainbow neos in your extra deck, you'll want to play three of these and just 
um, cut one of these for a third one of Neo's Fusion. And I was only able to pick up two right now for this deck profile, but honestly, I would play a third one. This card is actually um, really good. It just, like I said, I have to play Prisma with this. I have to make sure, um, like this, I have, with Engage Space, you make sure you dump. Make sure you dump. And it also allows you to play Marine Dolphin without playing next, and it's a more balanced option. So um, if you just summon your um, level seven, or, level seven or lower Neo's, Neo's fusions. But honestly, with this card, how the t card text read, I'm asking Konami, like, when are we going to get more of the um, Neo Spatian fusion monsters, like the um, for next, the next, the rest of them, like the ones I'm playing. We already got Tinkle Moss and we have the Marine Dolphin. But it, what about the um, other elements? Neospatian and contact out to basically when you spend everything back you can just summon them back out to the deck to help you OTK your opponent with your fusions and for the traps I'm taking it one now I'd rather side more in or still working out ratios but honestly playing piloting this right now is great and then two next just in case you know you can't get cloggy like all monsters you have basically a good out to that and, and all in all the whole I kind of do like the the anime cars that make Neo Space and Elemental Hero go together but I'd like to focus on more the Neo Spatia aspect because I feel like Neo Spatia are just too cute, honestly. Um, but the wave card is not my preference unless I was mixing it with more with hero stuff. Um, that's my just intake on it, but um. But I just rather focus on more of the Neo Spatians and Neo Fusions. Okay, going on to the extra deck now. Still one Rainbow Neo, so only need one in here. Um, Brave Neos. Just be able to search your own, your contact cards, spell cards. Um, like I said about the um, instant um, instant contact that you can just be able to summon him out, and he's treated as Aqua Dolphin, but he has the effect to look at your opponent's hand, and it says you can ignore summoning condition also of the future monsters summoning it so y'all good to add the effect you just would have to need a neos in the graveyard and since we played two and since we play this we're gonna play the second guy the fusion you know standard dark panther um the Aqua Neos, Air Hummingbird, Air, I mean Air Neos, Glow Neos, Glow Neos, um, you just don't need Glow Moss anymore with the Instant Contest, so if you want to pop a monster, spell or trap that you know of, um, it's good, honestly, I feel like it's still good, because um, the Brave Engine out there is just, it's a good force to negate force of negation negation off of griffin um clear um flare neos you know playing mr mind them decks that play back row you know summon this and gain a whole bunch of attack um dealing with problematic monsters also And for the Neo Spatian that takes three 
the one nebula because nebula is really broken um cosmic that's why i had to up the count on my neo space and just to be able to make him more valuable and being an extra there um storm neos and magma neos you know standard ones from back in the day thanks guys for tuning in this um please like comment subscribe team neo spatian Bye your life out.